You know, for the better part of a decade, one single architecture has pretty much ruled the entire world of AI. But what if I told you its replacement might already be here? We're going to dive into what could be a massive changing of the guard, a new model from Google DeepMind that might just change the very way AI, well, thinks. So the story of modern AI, it really boils down to a few key moments. The big one, of course, was back in 2017. That's when the paper Attention is All You Need dropped and gave us the Transformer. It was a complete revolution. And now it looks like we might be on the brink of the next one with a brand new challenger. Okay, so before we get to the new kid on the block, we really have to appreciate the giant we're talking about here. The Transformer isn't just some AI model. For what feels like forever, it has been the AI model. The one. Yeah, I mean, if you've used any big AI tool lately, you've used a transformer. We're talking about the engine that's chugging away inside ChatGPT, inside Google's Gemini, and Anthropic's Claude. It's even the magic behind those mind-blowing videos from Sora. Ever since 2017, they've just completely owned the space. But all that power, it comes with a pretty big catch. Right, so what is that catch? Well, for all of their incredible power, for all their brilliance, transformers are shockingly inefficient. Here's the problem in a nutshell. At its core, a transformer is just a brute force system. Think about it. When it reads a sentence, it treats a super simple word like the with the exact same brain power as a really complex concept like quantum mechanics. Every single word, every token gets shoved through this massive 100 plus layer pipeline, no exceptions. And as you can imagine, that brute force approach has some major downsides. We're talking extremely high computational costs, a huge memory footprint, and just a colossal waste of energy and resources. It really is like using a sledgehammer to crack a nut over and over and over again. It just screams there has to be a smarter way to do this. Well, it turns out there is a smarter way, and it has a name, mixture of recursions. So instead of brute force, this new architecture from Google DeepMind is all about, well, something more like intelligent management. So what exactly is mixture of recursions, or more as we'll call it? You know, at its heart, it's an architecture that can dynamically allocate its brain power. It's smart. It looks at every piece of information coming in and decides, right there on the spot, how much processing it actually needs. It finally stops treating every single word the same. The best way to think about it is like a traffic cop for data, right? So the tokens, the words, they arrive. A smart router, our traffic cop, takes a quick look and analyzes how complex each one is. The simple stuff, like the word the, it gets waved through into an express lane and exits the model early. Easy peasy. But the really complex tokens, the cop sends them back around for more processing. That's the recursion part. They can loop back again and again, as many times as it takes until the model truly gets it. It's just such an elegant and efficient way to do things. And you've got to understand, the implication here is massive. This isn't just about a speed boost. What more does is it brings the idea of planning right inside the model's own loop. It's like the AI finally understands that, hey, not every problem needs 100 layers of thought. Some might just need two. Others might need eight. More lets the model make that call in real time. So it's not just about being more efficient. It's actually learning how to think more efficiently. OK, so that's the theory, and it sounds great, right? But let's get to the proof. Let's look at the numbers. How does this new architecture actually stack up against the good old transformer? Well, let me tell you, the performance results are kind of staggering. All right, let's start with a classic matchup, size versus performance. So you take a standard transformer, a big one, with 315 million parameters. That's our benchmark. Now, you pit it against a mixture of recursions model that has only 118 million parameters. That's less than half the size. And get this, the smaller, more model actually gets better accuracy. It's literally doing more with less. And the wins just keep coming. What about speed? When it comes to actually delivering an answer, MOAR is twice as fast. Okay, what about memory? It needs 50% less. And that's because of that clever traffic cop system. It only has to keep the active tokens in memory, the ones it's still thinking about, not the whole darn thing. 
And what's really wild is that this efficiency just gets better as you scale up. At a larger scale, an MOR model can blow past its transformer equivalent while using just one-third of the computational weights. I mean, that is just a game-changing level of efficiency. But here's the most important part of all, the real kicker. You get all of this, these incredible gains in speed, in size, in efficiency, with absolutely zero hit to the quality of the answers. It's smaller, it's faster, and it's every bit as smart. So when you put all of that together, you kind of have to step back and ask, what does this mean for the big picture? We're not just talking about a slightly better model here. We could be looking at the next major frontier for AI. Which, of course, brings us to the big, obvious question. So, is this it? Is the reign of the Transformer finally over? Well, the answer, even from the people who built this thing, is not yet. These kinds of revolutions take time to roll out. But make no mistake, we are absolutely entering a new era. You know, just like Transformers came along and replaced the old recurrent neural networks, more could very well be the architecture that defines this next chapter. And of course, Google isn't in a vacuum here. This race for the next great AI architecture is on, and it is fierce. You've got Meta building its super intelligence labs. OpenAI is all in on agents. XAI is pushing out new models. Everybody is scrambling. But for right now, with this breakthrough, mixture of recursions is the one that has everyone talking. And that leaves us with one last pretty fascinating thought to chew on. The immediate story here, sure, it's about efficiency. But the real story, the bigger story, is about more effective reasoning. So the question we're left with is this. If AI can actually learn how to think more efficiently, what kind of problems will it be able to solve next?